Hey boys and girls, I'm gonna show you how to notch your loom with a ruler, how to get everything organized. This is a six by 10 piece of cardboard. This is one that I use primarily with sixth grade, but it really doesn't matter. You just need a piece of cardboard with the same number of notches at the top and the bottom. So the first thing I usually like to do is have on the, I'm gonna be making the notches on the shorter ends. So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna make a line first. I wanna make sure that line is as thick as my thumb, give or take. You don't want it too little and you don't want it like really big. You want it kind of like about like that. So a good thumb for me. So I'm gonna draw a line here. You can do it on both sides, both sides. Then, like I said, this is six inches across this way. So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna line it up perfectly with the edge. And I can tell that it's lined up perfectly because I see all my um, inches. And here's number six, which shows that it is six inches wide. And then on all of my inches, on my ruler, those show as dark red. I'm going to make a straight line up. Don't worry if it's not perfect. You don't have to draw it with a ruler. I'm gonna do that on both sides. All right, so one, two, three, four, five marks. Those five marks create six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, so six inches. Now my ruler doesn't have really clear defined thirds marked off as easily as, uh, it has fourths a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna add two more lines in between each one of these. I like to just pre-mark those little, almost with little dots little tiny marks to try to make them even. You want them as even as possible. It's like we're building ourselves a piano and we wanna have the piano keys perfectly spaced. So that looks pretty good. So if I have that pretty good, then I'm gonna just go ahead and draw those straight up. The more even they are, the better, the, the easier it is really when you get to cutting and putting on your warp. So I do that on both sides. Again, just gonna make some little marks here. You can make a loom with basically any piece of cardboard. You just need to have the same number of notches at the top um, and the bottom. So it, when you're done, it's really a good idea to count your lines. So I'm gonna count, and, and you really have to realize which, what you're counting. Are you counting lines or spaces? I'm gonna count lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have 17 lines. And then I'm gonna turn this over and make sure I have it the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 lines. I might have clicked inside of a shape, but I was really looking at the lines when I was counting. So I have 17 and 17. If I was to count those spaces, the white spaces, I would have 18 on both sides. And I know that just from doing this a lot, that you have one more space. So it's really important that you know that you're, what you're counting, lines or spaces. So I'm all set for the next part of this, which is uh, cutting and putting on my warp. So this is the, an example of a smaller loom, same thing doesn't matter, this one has 11 uh, uh, lines with 12 spaces on either end. So whatever kind of loom you wanna do, it really doesn't matter. Um, skinny, wide, uh, long, it does not matter. Just have the same number of notches on either side. Good luck.